fans podcast no nudes just nba news thanks for tuning in ladies and gentlemen probably mostly gentlemen um did you guys see what lebron james tweeted earlier today what never did he tweet can i read it yeah you can read it please read never it. thought i'd be talking from this perspective but i'm not really sure what else you expected when the higher-ups have all come together as a collective with conspiracies to end my run and send a message in what? parentheses, LeBron James slash Drake. Drake. Yeah, it's a yeah. Drake line. It's a it's, direct quote from yeah, a Drake it, song. It's a very... Uh, I think that was sick as, Michael, sick as shit. Michael dude. Scott type... Uh, it's a cool thing to say because it's been said by someone cool. But <laughs> here's the thing. When you're LeBron James and everything and everyone, they just put you in a Space Jam movie, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, how can you come out and say that the higher-ups don't want you to be successful right For now? For real. Everybody is expecting you, counting you, needing you to like be the the headline and the front runner for the NBA. Like you yeah. are the showrunner for that, and no one else in history would have been a worse person to to say that. Yeah, he's wearing a Lakers jersey. They're gonna do <laughs> everything they can to push you through. Exactly. Also, who are these higher ups? Because good question. Yeah, is he talking to like Adam Silver? Who is he talking? Is about? He, if he's talking executives, because literally two days before this tweet, he was yelling congrats to his brother James Jones for executive of the year. So that's that's a higher up executive. So you got one getting, in your pocket. Yeah, and you're saying they're conspiring against and him. And there's a problem here. Yeah, dude. Uh, I, don't. I think he's talking about the Illuminati. Yeah, personally. I think there's like levels to how high up this goes. There was the best comment on Twitter was just like, "Bro, it's just a vaccine." <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, like take it or don't. But like, what is that really? No, that's not. That couldn't be what he's talking about. No, no, no. no There's no, no way. No, no, no. no. Um, I, LeBron just does stuff for attention. He just does stuff to get numbers, to get clicks, to get views, to make it about himself, and that's what this is. It's just. You know, he loves to cry to the refs, but he gets the call, so... Well, he's he's the guy who cries to the refs and gets what he wants for crying to the refs. He's exactly. the only guy who does. So there's no higher-ups that are keeping him down. Exactly. That's just bullshit. All right, and he well, knows it, and, like, it's about maintaining this, like, perfect balance of marketability where yeah. he's equal parts loved and hated. Mm -hmm. You know, it's this... The guy knows how to play the game. And it's working. <laughs> it's totally yeah, working. It's working. Like, but, like, for me, it's the hate side. Like, I just hate that he's doing that. Exactly. You know? Because, uh, like, statements like that make no sense, and everybody wants to act like he's the smartest person in the NBA. Yeah. And he's not. Like, you don't he's, run the NBA, dude. He's just a dude. And, like, I don't know. I don't know. The only good thing he's ever done yeah, is... Yeah, right there? I think the we have to address what just happened. No, hold on. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't, wasn't LeBron the guy who, when the whole China thing was going down, he was like... I don't really know what's going on. Yeah. So like, so that that was the only good thing he's ever done. Like when somebody asked him about China, he's like, "Man, I'm just a basketball player. I haven't done the research." Like, no, but he but he has all these opinions on every other issue. So it's just kind of like we get it. You're trying to sell jerseys. That's true. Yeah. I know, but I like, dude. Don't get me. I thought don't it was get me started good, on China. I am a marketing don't, guy. Don't get so me like, on China. it was a good way to sidestep the the question, and I appreciated yeah. that. Like, it wasn't because. I thought that it was humble by any means because yeah. when you when you stack it against every other thing that LeBron James does and says, humble is not something that like the 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 non humble outweighs the humble yeah. like ten times to oh definitely twenty times to a hundred times. His to version of humble is like congratulating his past self from his future self on his success. His version yeah. of humble. <laughs> his version of humble is making a pass to a rookie. Uh, when they're up by 20 in the the first half. 
No, exactly. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that. <clears throat> he could have drove it to the rim. All right, so that we got to address. <laughs> That's just sad. Let me zoom in. The Dude, what is happening? I'm sorry. Are you all right? I'm choking. I'm choking. Oh, sorry. The 76ers there? are fucking choking. Oh, yeah. The 76ers are choking. <laughs> uh, all right. So were you trying to this change the a subject segue. earlier, too? A little bit. A I little just bit thought this. I thought the uh, topic had resolved itself as of its own momentum. Volition. So, volition. Either word works. Yeah. Well, um, but I'm the word guru, and mine was better. Yeah. So, uh, just decided to turn it over to. Uh, so I just, Sixers then. I just needed. To, it's Sixers I just time, need, dude. Well, I just speaking need... of Sixers and turnovers. <laughs> yeah, it's a valid point. Lots uh, of turnovers. Uh, <laughs> lots of shots that should have been taken and weren't. Game uh, five, they were up twenty-four with two minutes to go, in the third, and uh, they were at home. They lost that game, and then they were up game seven at home. They lost that game. They were the up Sixers? game six at home. No, no, game six they were in Atlanta. But they were up at one point, yes. Wait, which one was the one where they just fouled Simmons that in the fourth quarter? Was that the fifth? Fifth, yeah. Yeah, around. fifth game. They had such a big lead, yeah. like Josh 24 said. 24 points. And then all they 24. do in the fourth quarter is foul the worst free throw shooter on the 76ers team. Arguably the worst free throw shooter in the NBA. Uh, not all, it, And they didn't take him out. Doc Rivers has no ability to adjust. Yeah. He can't do shit. He doesn't know what he's doing. Definitively, you said know. you said probably definitively the worst shooter in NBA playoff history that's taken more than like six or seventy buckets. Thirty two percent, thirty three percent, insane. So that that's been the big. And when you pair story. that with the fact that there's like no threes in there, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, if he's not making free throws, he's not making threes. Well, thirty three percent. Free throw shooter. Yeah, exactly. Well, oh, I thought you meant all overall. No, no. Which I still throws. would have believed, but that would have been like better than I expected. Exactly. Um, so yeah, the big story with Ben Simmons has been like, where is he going to go? What are they going to do with him? So my question for you is, do you want Ben Simmons on the Nuggets? Here's the thing. I don't. I don't think Ben Simmons is as bad as we all think he is right now. I agree. I think that there's a huge component of Doc Rivers being a garbage coach mm-hmm. and putting him in situations that everybody's saying this, so it's not like some you know masterful thought but like he's just being put in situations that ruin his confidence yes and no because he's he's he was a superstar so it's like he's in those positions just as a player of who he is no i think that adjustments would oh well no help, doubt. help keep him out of situations that are going to destroy him like that but fourth you- quarter they should have put uh howard in Way more. No, I, if anything, Simmons plays or Tobias Harris or any other guard, anybody who can make a free throw. Absolutely. No, I agree yeah. with you, but I'm saying that's a short term solution. You can't have a player on a max contract like Ben Simmons is and take him out in the fourth quarter, like throughout his contract. Like that's a solution for this year. It's true. But it's I don't just know a situational if- thing. I'm not saying that they need to do that every game. Yeah. But when it comes down to like free throw shooting in the in the clutch, if they know that that's his shortcoming, and like the guy. He's got it in him. We all know that. Like, he, there were even flashes of brilliance against Atlanta yeah. where he's throwing down, like, sick-ass alley-oop behind-the-back dunks. And yeah, Game uh, six, I think he had a triple-double in the first half. He's an amazing player. He's an incredible athlete, incredible defender. So what, your answer was yes, you'd want him on the Nuggets? I'd take him, yeah. I agree, and I got three things he could do to fix his th- free throws. Okay. Because it's about brain chemistry, in my opinion. It really is. So the first thing is meditation. And this is this is a storyline written in Hollywood. Jamal Murray, the point guard, is famous for his meditation. His dad brought him to busy playgrounds as a kid and had him meditate to like learn how to focus and shit. Like that's um, zone exactly, out the noise. Yeah. That is a and um, it, for him to come there, have work with Jamal Murray on meditation, get his free throw down. That becomes a Hollywood movie for sure. If Ben Simmons becomes absolutely successful. yeah, and the it's one like thing, the basketball. Uh, Karate Kid. Exactly. It's really what yes. it is. Like yes. 100% that's what it becomes. And Jamal Murray gets to be Jamal Miyagi. Yeah. And Jamal uh, Miyagi. Life yes. is great. I love it. Um, so, okay, maybe he's tried meditation. That doesn't work. He doesn't want... The next thing would be hypnosis. Okay. So my f- I bet he's already tried that. But but my first... My first uh, would be to train Jamal Murray in hypnosis. Still train him. <laughs> Get your Molly. Get your because if he's if he's that good at meditating, in house, yeah, you know? exactly. Give someone he can trust, and right. then maybe Jamal Murray slips in there like, "You don't need to take the next max contract. You're a team player. 
Think uh-huh. about Tom Brady. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. there's a lot of options there. Slip <laughs> something in there, Jamal. you know, if you got right. the keys to the That's given a lot of power to Jamal though. But okay, just uh hypnosis in general, like that's a feather in anybody's cap. Like if they can if they're like a hypno specialist. Even if I don't play in the NBA, like if I know how to do hypnosis. Exactly. Like if you're like my life guys. will get better. Regardless. Absolutely. You'd abuse everything, the shit out of it. Yes. Yeah. Everything. Everything. You're at the grocery store, like, these bananas are not No, I'm saying he needs to be hypnotized to shoot better free throws. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, one of those guys, I mean, honestly, if, if you Ben Simmons, if you could hypnotize Ben Simmons and he's making free throws, mm-hmm. you could, like, 90% of the NBA fans that smoke cigarettes or want to lose weight, they'll all sign up for your seminar. That's true. Um, That's true. So, okay, he's probably tried that, you know. Yeah. Maybe. What's number three? Number three is drugs. Okay. So, I was thinking drugs were going to be in there somewhere. Like, yeah. we should do more drugs? For Ben Simmons and being able to fix his free throws. Like, give, give him drugs. Ben Simmons. Simmons. I think, I think he, no, I think he needs to microdose on, on, on LSD or shrooms for, like, <laughs> yes. two months and just be in, the, be in the gym shooting free throws, just high as a kite. Maybe go to, like, and eventually work in, like, you have people taking video of you, working yeah. some pressure Chirping on this you. stuff. Um, or... Go on Joe Rogan and do MD, uh, DMT. DMT is good. DMT, like, they always say that, like, it changes the brain chemistry. I mean, I don't know that DMT is good, but, like, Joe Rogan has told me that it'd be a good option. Exactly. Especially for somebody who needs a life-changing... Experience. Yeah. And to, like, alter their brain chemistry. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm all for... I, I think... Really, like, I think we try the first two options. Exactly. And when they don't work, yeah. we get them on a microdosing regimen. Yes. Um, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I think that'd be What good. about drug testing in, like, the NBA, though? I mean, is that... Is that <laughs> the only thing like, the NBA tests for... I feel like you might have to change for, a few rules no, before we... No. This is the this. NBA. The only thing the NBA tests for is steroids. Yeah. Oh, okay. Before NBA <laughs> players are allowed to do whatever the fuck they want. NBA players have famously gone to games like, like high as a kite off marijuana. Yeah. Uh, so last year on 420, Stephen Curry, maybe it was the year before, he came to the game and sat out that day. Just decided to sit out. You sure and was, said today is a good day. Was it Clay day. Thompson? No, it was Curry. Yeah, that's right. He said today was a good day. Uh, Clay and Thompson. He was just like sitting there all cheesy. It was great, man. I love it. They would pan to him and like not say anything about it, but say something about it. That made my day. Um, yeah. So Sixers blew it. Well, Simmons had some problems. Embiid. Embiid. What do you think about him? I mean, he played well. He had too many turnovers probably but i mean he can be the face of a franchise with another player i was like who pairs well with Embiid? i'm like well who doesn't pair well with Embiid? it's a good well, point it's like simmons, a fine simmons wine doesn't pair. Yeah. exactly like, they got a pair right. like they got a pair exactly i'm trying to find yeah, but the simmons pair. is like it's like i don't know so it get... doesn't go good with wine right yeah that's really the question because that's what simmons is to Embiid. <laughs> simmons is just like a yeah, cheeseburger you know, you're not going to have a cheeseburger with wine. Yeah. You're going to have a beer. Yeah. No, you're right. Pizza. Yeah, that's way too much acid. Pizza and wine. Perfect. <laughs> um, no, so yeah, I just came to the conclusion that like any decent like player that could create his own shot or hit open shots and spread the floor for a beat. Because the thing is... If he it, needed it, more help in the fourth quarter. Yeah, exactly. Just across the board. This and th- anybody guarding Simmons can just double up and beat. Yeah. At that point. Especially now when he has like an open shot right under the basket and he passes it away. Yeah. Um, but That's speak- what Embiid said. He uh, he was quoted in an interview that said uh, when they were like, why, did you, yeah. why do you think you lost this game? Like what was the missing piece? Mm-hmm. And he goes, I think that uh, it was the point that – it was the point when we uh, m- made oh. – when we made a pass, when we had an open shot, that it was over. He's, yeah, it was, it was when we made one free throw when we had an open dunk. Yeah, when we got one point when we should have had an open dunk. Yeah. yeah. It, it, and it, he's not wrong. 100%. He's not wrong. Yeah, but like you usually don't see an NBA player, especially an MVP, like go off and just MVP call out candidate. one of their you, uh, most valuable player on their team. Yeah, um, oh, definitely. Go out and just, like, call somebody out in an interview. Yeah. Like, that's rare. I don't hate it. Like, Mr. Clean with hair. Yeah. What do you think that means, Danny? If we can get back to our segment. <laughs> Mr. Clean rare. with hair. That's rare, like, Mr. <laughs> Clean with hair. Can you explain that to me? Yes. Um, basically, what that means is 
It's rare with Mr. Clean with hair because you only see him without hair. Oh, for the most part. Okay. Mr. Clean, the cleaning solutions <clears throat> man. So yes. We, and genius, yeah. so like, I think like to be rare to see him with hair would be like you went to like his mom's house, you know. When he was like, a youngin? When he was a youngin. A youngin, there's yeah. There's like pictures of him with hair on the wall. Oh, so got it. But like... Before the cleaning brain was involved. But what's the odds you're going to get invited to Mr. Clean's mom's house? So that's, that's pretty point. fucking rare. I think the hair is supposed to be symbolic of just how clean things can actually be. Like the shine coming off his head. Like yeah, that's how clean. You oh, yeah. Mr. That's Clean that's a be. subconscious thing that they're putting on the box. Like so the hair is dirty. If he had hair, it just wouldn't Hair is dirty. Work. It is dirty. Yeah. It falls off all the time. Exactly. They're just like, go bald. You'll never have hair on your sink at all. Hair is literally just dead skin. Mm. Revolution. It is. Mm. It's dead skin. So is your nails. Think about that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, think I don't want to think about that. <laughs> this fucking freaks me out. I like, cut my fingers off. So, uh, speaking of Embiid. Danny, can you explain this to me? What does good pipe make a girl to a good wife? Good morning wood. I just need a termite. <laughs> what does that one mean? So Hold we on, are bringing. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to reread that back to me. All right. Let me let me just preface this. We're bringing back a segment called Ask a Rapper. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, we did so do. it's it's good pipe make a girl to a good wife. Good morning, Wood. I just need a termite. That's a Wale line. Can you, I? I don't get it. Okay. So basically, a good pipe will turn whatever to a good wife. That means. You give her that good pipe, she's gonna be she's gonna want that good pipe on the daily. And that good pipe, like like you guys you guys, sometimes like people smoke you know, weed or the, oh, the pipe. Pi oh, okay. You know what all, I'm right. all right. So basically give her that good pipe and she'll turn into a good wife because she wants to be around. She's gonna make you breakfast and like do all those things to keep getting that good uh -huh. pipe. Uh-huh. But when you sometimes when you wake up in the morning Good morning wood, I just need a termite. Yeah, you just Good morning. Yeah, I got like a little bit of wood. I just need this taken care of real quick. Yeah. So somebody's like a so termite yeah. eats. Those lyrics are dope. What's the name of that song? Uh, I don't know. It's a Wale lyric. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna... uh, the song is "Passive Aggress Her." <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. I yeah, I'm sure you good... would. I know. I like that. <clears throat> I don't need your. Do we have time for a few more? I don't see why not. That's okay. True. Uh, owl, hoes turn their heads like owls. I'm the man of the hour. Triple entendre. Don't even ask me how. What is? I'm gonna need all that again <laughs> one more okay, time. I think you meant triple entendre, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm yes, gonna need to yes. Google. What but I've been, but I've been watching. Uh, uh, it's like something that means the same thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, a double again, entendre would be like two, would, a double entendre would be like two things that mean the same thing. Yeah. So a triple would be three. Oh my god. All right. Okay. So it's owl. Hose turns their head like owls. I'm the man of the hour. <laughs> triple entendre. Don't even ask me how. What? What is? Okay. So I think what he's basically break like it down. Saying, break it down for us. <laughs> um. I don't think he meant to mean anything there, except for the fact that he somehow he was able to spit the first ever triple entendre, as you, as you said. Uh -huh. I'm assuming that's how he's probably said it. So probably. probably. I was trying to make probably it probably got work. it wrong. See, the but way I took it... basically he was it... saying, don't ask me how, because I don't even know how I did it, because, like, that's not even fucking possible, mm -hmm. but somehow Wale did it. Is this well, Wale? That one was Jay-Z. Oh, this is Jay-Z? This is Hova. That was Jay-Z. Oh. That was from uh, Light Up. Oh, okay. Off Thank Me Later. I really, I thought, I just didn't expect Jay-Z to produce words like that, I guess. Okay. I just bought a crib three stories, that bitch a trilogy. Ooh. Yeah, well, that's, that's just pretty, pretty, that's easy. House, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? He has a basement, it's a It's a three-story house, a movie, there's three level. stories, like a trilogy, like Star Wars, the original right. trilogy. You got the first story, second story, third story, so he's got three stories of the house. But go back to that original one, the one you just said. Um, I think basically what he basically meant to say is I can string together whatever words I want because I am in fact banging Beyonce. Oh, so therefore I now it makes so much more therefore, sense. Therefore it doesn't really, I mean, I could, I could say what it's literally, because, I could say, um, isn't it crazy? Dog, 
shit log. It doesn't ma- Beyonce. That's crazy, dude. That's <laughs> actually about Beyonce. And yeah, I just that was thought, a, yeah. There he was go. talking about owls and I did it again. Woo! That's great. Hmm. Wow. I'm in tune. Beating out the game for so long, I'm still in tune. I understand what's going on. Um. Okay. So, and I'm only asking about this one is because like. It's Kanye, and usually he's talking about, like, God. This or, is going to be tough. Or, like, war, yeah. you know, sometimes. It's always current events. So I was expecting, like, I wanted to bring this one to the table because I felt like it had to have a deeper meaning. Yes. And to me, it just seemed, like, way too surface level for, for such a creative genius. Um, are you ready, Danny? I think I'm ready. And she just bleached her asshole, <laughs> and I got bleach on my t-shirt. I'm going to feel like an asshole. So is that about, like, <clears throat> is that about... Iran and Israel or, or Israel and Pakistan or is it about is that about like the soul no I think basically what that means is I think because you know he's with Kim Car- well he was with Kim Kardashian I think that means somebody else bleached their asshole oh damn you're saying Kim Kardashian doesn't bleach her asshole and she probably does too but it might be on a different schedule than the chick that he okay. just got the bleach on the shirt from Okay, so, so you're then saying tomorrow Kim he's gonna go home and no, no, not tomorrow. When he leaves the house of this lady or guy, oh, or whatever, um, he's gonna go home and on the drive home he's gonna notice there's bleach on his shirt and then he's gonna feel like an asshole because he just cheated on Kim Kardashian mm. with Jeffrey Star. What? Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> Do you know who feels like an asshole? Who's that? Embiid. After Josh Collins wore a shirt of himself. John. It's John Collins. Is it John Collins? Yeah, his name is John Collins. After John Collins. Man, how did I fuck that up? You're talking about the yeah. guy with, yeah. where he's dunking over him. Yeah, yeah, Joel my bad. John Collins. Yeah. I was thinking of Josh Smith. Um, Do you want me to edit that in post? Yeah, it is. I'm just kidding. Post. I can't. Do no, that. I know. That's I know. on the record. Um, no, where John Collins weird. wore a shirt of himself post rising and beat. Yeah, it was pretty funny. In a post game interview after yes. he just got done like white. Yeah, it was after him. game seven, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it happened in like <laughs> five or six or some shit. But what's I'm trying to think like that is one of the more like most disrespectful moves in sports, right? I think like, it's great. Post-rising. I think that's what sports should be about. No, I, I agree, but like what's more disrespectful than wearing it like like wearing a shirt of himself, like literally fucking that dude's mother? Like, <laughs> is that more like well, maybe that I, guy's I think mother that is. Maybe a little uncalled for. No, but it's not very PC, buddy. I mean, but like maybe that guy's mother is like single and f- sexually frustrated, mm-hmm. and like, sh- like I'm woman positive, I'm sex positive, like good for her. Like who am I to judge? Maybe that's better. I suppose, but I don't think they would actually put that on television. I mean, that's true. I mean, you could blur it out, censor it a little bit. <laughs> that that would be kind of bold. Everyone in the press. It's a bold move. I feel like you got to make that bold move to find right. out. Yeah. You know? Okay. You might get a hefty fine. If if you're Kevin Durant and you're bringing your mom to games, I feel like it's a little more like acceptable. You yeah. know, if you're putting her front row surrounded yeah. by the posse, that's true. that's true. So that she's on camera mm-hmm. and being a nuisance, mm-hmm. that's something. Now we got something to talk about. Like now Is she's she fair hot, game. She's a mom. You yeah. Know? What's that? She's not. So yeah. So yeah. Okay. She's not. You know. Duh. She's not in her heyday by any means, but we're still here, right? So, can we, can we get a, a stat check on the Bogdan Bogdanovich injury? Anybody? Stat um, check? What kind of stats are going to be on an injury? I, I was just an injury check, I guess. While we discuss Kevin Hurd. Like length oh, of okay. surgery scar? Yeah, was, somebody check that out. <laughs> how long is Bogdanovich going to be injured for? Yeah. How long is Bogdan Bogdanovich going to be injured for? See, you're only making me look this up because I don't know how to fucking spell that shit. Is B-O-G-D-O-N. That He's a Hawks player. We need it's to figure out his, I want to see his attempt. I wish we could see, like... Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, we put it the on the The letters he just put together to make... I think that. if anybody's computer needed to be streamed to a TV that's attached to this bar right here, it's it's Brandon's. I agree. Yeah, just so that we can see what's going on on I his screen. I think we should get another TV that's totally like, right doable. there. We just need a yeah. really... Oh, yeah, well, that's doable. Yeah. You'll see about 12 tabs and then a hockey game playing. In the I'd game. like to have <laughs> one on each side so that I get my own screen, too, though. Right. If I could make that request. I just picked up a, a I, 40 game, so we can make that happen. I'd also like to have another screen with the basketball game on. We already have that. A little bit closer. Yeah, that's, that's just true. on the other side of the world. We're never going to not have Lakers 22, uh, Phoenix Suns 25 going on. Yeah. Like, I need that score count, or else I'm done. So, what did you want to know the stats of his you last game? You want to know about Bonga Jack's... Um, Bogdan, is he still yeah, surgery injured. scar length? 
Yeah, is he still injured? injured? I thought you wanted stats. I'm like, well, he had four points. Yeah, in the that's because Josh game, said so. that because he's an idiot. So, well, I was trying to check on up. the injury while we talked about Kevin Herter. Then, you know what? Let's just type in injury stats and then see what we get. Injury update, Bogdan Bogdanovich. We'll go, we'll go Injury update. Oh, okay, Hawks. so it's yeah. been established that I don't really watch that much basketball. Bo- that's his name. Bogdanovich? Yeah. Bogdan Bogdanovich. His- Bogdan is his first name. Bogdanovich. Is this like an Ocho Cinco situation, or is he no. born So here's my theory. He's from Serbia. Here's my theory. Oh, okay. Makes here's my fun theory. Of more. <laughs> his mom, his mom, uh, his mom named him Bogdan, yeah. right? Yes. And then... She liked Later on in the name's so no, nice, no, she gave on. it to him twice. Hold on. Later on in life, she remarried oh, a Bogdan- to a guy whose last name was Bogdanovich. And from there, he yes. got adopted. Because in Serbia, like you really don't have choices. Yeah. You just do what is prescribed to you, I assume. No, that's, that's wonderful. No, that that's that's a good theory by him, but since I like know like cultures and stuff, I just know that this is like something they do. Or they like name their first name, like very similar to the last name. Their last name. Did yeah. you just humble brag? No, I was more humble and salty. Did you know oh, that if okay. I would have taken my da- my stepdad's last name, my d- name would be Adam Adams? I do. I think about that like once a week. Isn't that an incredible factoid about me? Uh, I would have Adam Adams is hilarious. I like that. Yeah, it would have been a power move, especially like is it still is role. it too late to make that like? But AC, <laughs> I could get adopted late in life. That'd be great, man. Just Dad, for, the, we adopt for the bit. It's yeah. for the bit. I should like. I should just bring like signed. Uh, uh, yeah, signed adoption papers over <laughs> like next Father's Day. Uh, you know, like, bring them over <laughs> to him. For the like, let's make this official. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, you're almost thirty. I don't care. Just adopt me. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, Kevin Herter yeah. did uh, show up for Game Seven. He had his all-time high, I want to believe. And I mean, who's, who's that now? He's the who's last this guy. He's the last Ginger Hope. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Andrew Santino. Yes, Andrew Santino. The second Cheeto. Yes. He's the second Cheeto. He's the second Cheeto. He really is. He Just is about Cheeto. as ying as you could possibly get and still be able to play basketball. I was thinking if he, he's lucky because if he wasn't able to make an NBA team and he still wanted to be around the league, he would easy, easily be able to play a Celtic mascot. Like, he would be up there in the green and stuff and... Put him in a little leprechaun outfit. Exactly. You know, big old give him a pot of outfit. gold. Exactly. You know what he needs is like one of those big like. It's Are we like allowed a, to be saying this? I'm it's Irish. Right. It's oh, Irish. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay, cool. The Irish people can't. I, just, I heard a song. It was bad to make fun of Irish people. Can call another ginger ginger. Well, that's an old song. Okay. Uh, it, it's one of those things where um, it's like racism goes is cyclical. Okay. So right now, like <clears throat> Polish people. Irish people, and I think like Russians, Germans are always open. Germans. Always open. those are the four categories right now <laughs> that open. you can like yep. racist joke about. Okay. Um. So like all of a sudden now, and it's not really all of a sudden because bad things have been happening. Uh, Asian people, Whoa. you suddenly can't make fun of, and like ten and years like, ago, you see SNL. Oh yeah. And I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just no. saying like factually, SNL would do like Asian characters all the time. Definitely. I miss you know? days where everyone was Trisha fair Takanawa. game. I do too. And Trisha that's Takanawa. what made it fair. Yeah. You couldn't you couldn't start Trisha Takanawa today. No. I don't really think that is her voice the per- person who voiced her. Is she actually She's, of Asian? If that's not, the it's debate, a big problem. It's a big problem. Well, I actually they're... think it's not though because but I'm Cleveland sure left, it's... right? That do you say Cleveland? Yeah. yeah, that's what makes me more sad because I feel like I've known enough black people that liked the Cleveland show and that would have been okay was with that Cleveland. Supposed to be a racist show? No, that no, because that no, no, the guy left because he because he Cleveland. felt because it was oh, a he white. thought it was wrong okay. with everything going on right I mean, now. It's just a people voice, are, though. No, but people I are mean, taking preemptive like self defense moves. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. They're, 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 it, it kind of makes sure. sense in today's day. It does, it does, it does. But that's that's the problem because I don't. My I feel like comedy should be comedy should be an open. Open field. As long as you're not... And your point was the people that, like, supposedly they're undermining or whatever are okay with it. And half the time it's the, you know, it's people coming out that... I guess it's a... Per- I feel like at that... If I'm just talking specifically Cleveland show. Yeah. I feel like, like, the moment he decided to leave, mm-hmm. like, black people should have came out and been like, no. Come, come back. We need well, you. I'm not going to tell them what to do. We need you, you can. can. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not going to go there, but I got ties. Yeah, I know. No, you're, yeah. I get what you're saying. 
Um, so did we come up with anything on the Bogdan Bogdanovich injury? No, I can't find anything as of recent in the I, past couple of days. Yeah, all it I saw just says he, he was out for game mm-hmm. seven, but um, did he play? No. Okay, he did. So he's play. probably questionable at best for game one. I think you're probably right. Um, we just have to add finishing up this whole series. Young did not shoot well in game seven, but he came through and ended up shooting well at the end, and that's all that matters. He shot well when he needed when they needed the shot. Yeah, that's what I feel about hey, it. He kept shooting. Something Ben Simmons didn't do. Yeah, no, he kept shooting, kept doing what needed to needed to be done, and really, that's the that's the thing that matters at the end of the day. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Well, ESPN has him listed as active for status wise. So. Does he? Yeah. Do they? I think he's gonna. I think it's a go. All right. Well, let's take a little break here. I agree. Man, uh, so. How do we feel for I was gonna ask how we feel about, but it's really how do we feel for the Bucks right now? Um well, I mean I feel good about the Bucks. I feel bad for the Nets. I mean they were this close. Yeah. They were I have the beginning of a joke. Oh man, an inch hasn't made that big of a difference since you know KD hit that shot going into overtime, one inch off from the three point line if he makes it. From three pointer, it's game over. Has it mattered since the world's biggest micro penis? Mm, there we go. Oh man, an inch hasn't made that big of a difference since pleasing my girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, something yeah. like that. No, I like that. Your kind of self deprecatory style of comedy yeah. that works for you. Exactly. <laughs> That's what we go with there. There we go. Um, but this did lead to an interesting topic between you and I when we were watching the game. Is do the Bucks have the ugliest roster in the NBA? And I would argue that yes. Yeah. You have, uh, well, first and foremost, uh, Chris Middleton. Is is he the reason we, we said this? He's definitely, <laughs> he's definitely like front, one, front runner for like gnarliest face in the NBA and highest. Like he just has a long, ugly face. Yeah. I don't know Team. that I've ever seen a horse-faced man before. Yeah. What's his name? Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton. Here, I got a picture. Oh, I got a job. I got a job. Okay. So Chris Middleton walks into a bar. Yeah. And the bartender asks him, why the long face? Yeah. 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 And then offers him an right. apple, and it's just like, here you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> apple teeny? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what it is. Chris Middleton walks into a bar, to be fair, and the bartender says, apple teeny? <laughs> <clears throat> His um, nickname is WD-40? Yeah, because he's so smooth. <laughs> yeah. Can, okay. What about Baby Joe Johnson? Because you don't hear him coming. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah. I honestly do think that like Chris Middleton being that ugly has caused his like drive in his life. Like he isn't Ooh, this unpopular good of a take. No, he isn't this good of a player. Unpopular opinion. It's just of like the day. how I had to try and at least be funny because I. have Really mediocre athletic ability and no musical talent whatsoever. And your looks are shit. So it's just and like, my looks are very mediocre at best. Yeah, they're shit, man. I'm going bald as we speak. It's not good. All I've ever been able to do is like try and be funny and try and talk and like get girls to notice me that way. But you know, so I get it. Like Chris Middleton had to be uh, an NBA player. I and guess for him, it's a working. Bit, yeah, for, I guess you know? he's doing a little bit better than me. For him, it actually works. Like he found the formula. Yeah. Yeah. He's still going bald, but he found the formula. Yeah, but is he bad looking? Did, did, did it cause him to drive? But is it costing him foul shots? Like, <laughs> it probably is. Uh, he's not one of the faces <laughs> of the NBA. Well, they say like good looking people get like more raises, more this. So it's like you have to wonder if like a bad looking NBA player gets less foul foul shots. Absolutely, him. no, I'm with you on that. Um, I do feel like regardless of the reason, yeah. he is he is the reason. That the Bucks are where they are today. Yeah, I agree. he's got some. He's uh, got defensive prowess. He can create his own shot. Thirty-nine point game in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. like come on, man, just killing it. I'm actually a huge Chris Middleton fan. I think Texas so A&M player. Uh, I think ugly player, but good player. Yes. Um, other, but like Brooke Lopez, not a looker by any means. Certainly not. Just kind uh, of a PJ Tucker. Over. PJ Tucker, but what does PJ Tucker look like? B.J. Tucker looks like, oh, we had this. This was really good. He looks like the dad of a really hot chick, though. Yes, he looks like every black chick's really, uh, like every hot black chick's dad. Yeah. That's what P.J. Tucker looks like. Definitely. <laughs> uh, Danny, pull up P.J. Tucker. You're going to agree with us 100%. Uh, 
And really, like, the face that he makes when he plays basketball is a huge contributor to that. Because mm-hmm. he's always pissed off. He always doesn't want to see you. You know, he's yeah. always mad. He always looks like you're fucking his daughter. Yeah. And 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 he's disappointed that you're yes. a white kid. Yes. You know? Yeah. Like, that's the biggest thing. Like, that's on his face at all times. He does look like he sets the bar away too high. Yes. Exactly. Yes. In everything. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. He was, uh... He was getting chirped by... He was getting chirped by, uh... Who's mom? KD's mom. Yes. During the game. And we were joking that, uh, you know, he went and talked with KD about it later. And he was like, yeah, actually, she was asking for my phone number. (laughs) I like that. I like that. Drew Holiday, not necessarily a looker, tries. I think he's probably one of the best looking guys on the team. Giannis is a good looking man. Giannis is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Giannis is an Adonis. Giannis is like... Giannis the Adonis. Has that been said? Oh, I don't know. It had to have. The Adonis... It has to be a shirt already. The Adonis Giannis. Wait. <clears throat> Real quick. How do we profit from this? I don't know. Actually, <laughs> we've all... We've all today... We've all established our roles. And I think the one role that still needs to be established is merch guy. And uh, Brandon... Don't. Don't. You've got don't the most experience... You've got the most experience with making merch. Yes. You've got the most experience. You made me hats. You've you've oh. you've, you've marked up you've mocked up labels or mm-hmm. uh, yeah like prints and and you've done all this stuff and I think today is the day where you get uh, and this is great because really like merch guy you get a cut of all that. True. You know, oh, well, small I'll cut. D- I'll definitely get a cut of all the merch. Yeah. Danny, this is like the eighth or ninth title I've been given since <laughs> okay. the podcast started. Well, we're forming. We're fluid. We're trying <laughs> to find a role it's all for about- you. If you Positively can't, if you can't be fluid with us, in your we can't help you here. That's you know fine. what I mean? I'll, I'll go wherever I need to go to make this shit. I work. think that's a good spot for you. It's better than cameraman. It's a great spot. And I don't you know? have the cameraman. These are just literally, look at these things. We don't need a cameraman. We got chilling. cameras, now, man. I'm gonna build a stand for all these things. That's another Jay Z line. We're, we don't need a cameraman. We got we cameras, cameras, man. man. Oh. Yeah. Do you like that? I do like that. That's that's <laughs> black. That's blue album shit. Um, I did Google search Giannis the Adonis. <clears throat> Not like nothing comes up. It just this the second one is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis Antetokounmpo <laughs> compared to Adonis and Rigwabi. It's nothing. So it's just <laughs> those aren't even that wasn't even a complete thought. Right. So I think we're like in the clear. Yeah. I think I think Giannis the Adonis is it's original. It's it's, it's like um, proprietary information now. Yeah, it's like the Rocky Mountain rivalry between uh, Denver and, and Utah. Utah. We we came up with it. We coined that. Yeah, exactly. It may not have caught on yet, but when when the, if, when the Rocky Mountain rivalry comes back, we're gonna have shirts for it. What if we just like money. slightly misspell money. his name, like slightly? We can't. We we can use his name. It's the loophole. No, let's use his name. There we is can. no loophole. Yeah, let's use his name. We can. Yeah, it's it's in. You know, it doesn't necessarily refer to. Let's that just Giannis. fucking use Dude, his if, face. No, no. If he starts suing us, we'll just do the classic barstool thing where we make a deal with him to. Uh, like include him as part of the sales, and then he reps it, and then all of a sudden, now we're to the moon. This could be a situation. No, this could be one of those situations though, where it's like if he doesn't sue us, he's cool. Yeah, and like we can be friends. But with also, him. Let's, you know what I mean? Let's, he becomes a friend of the podcast. He can just Basically, silently yeah. hate us from afar. But also, oh, the guy that we said the horse jokes though. I don't know if he's ever going to be our friend. I love Chris Middleton. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think he's got a good sense of humor. I do too. He doesn't have that PJ Tucker like quit fucking my daughter face. Yeah, so I feel a little better about throwing a little shade <laughs> at him. He's a good. He's a, got a good. You know, when you look like that, you have to have a good sense yeah, of humor exactly. about it. I, I think I see Chris Middleton in the streets. Like we dap it up. I see PJ Tucker in the streets. He's like, "Where's Adam? I want to punch his face." Yeah, he's like, "Fuck my daughter." <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, the Bucks Nets though. The Nets, there is some rumors going around that they might be cursed because of association with Kyrie Irving. Kyrie yeah. Irving might be cursed because he stomped on the lucky logo. So you tell me we get, we might have a new topic for the ghost of the NBA. Exactly, exactly. Which so we have to do. Kyrie which would Irving, be the Celtic leprechaun. Yeah, yeah, is a ghost of the NBA, and it's haunting Kyrie Irving now. Well, he's Ky- injured. Didn't get to play in the playoffs at all. Mm-hmm. No, he did. A little bit. Oh, and, in, in the first round. Yeah, he stomped on the logo. Yeah, stomped that logo. And then he got injured. And then he got injured. And now the Nets lost, so are they cursed by association? Do they have to get rid of Kyrie Irving to win? And here, I'm going to do something that I don't 
ever do. And I don't like the guy, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to defend Kyrie Irving. Have you ever seen the Celtic logo? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Dude, that logo is fucking asking for it. Yeah. Like, I don't want to say that logo was, like, provoking an attack. But, like, have you seen the way that logo is drawn? Like, oh, my God. <laughs> that, that logo is provocative. Which Celtics logo are we talking about? The, the dude, center court logo. The dude... The dude with the ball the, on his finger and the, the cane. The cane just with okay. the wry smile. Oh! I honestly yeah. think that's a dope logo. I think it... But if you look it up, I, th I, I, I also think it's a great logo. I think it's the most stompable logo in the NBA. He's got this shitty grin on. Yes. And he's winking. Oh. Is another thing. He's got, oh. a, he's got a wooden cane, a pipe. Mm. He's got the ball precariously perched on his finger. The pipe kind of looks like it's coming out of his nose. If they it did, does. It might really. be like a surgical pipe. It could be. That's just how he's breathing. I think like the like the. Um, but I look at this and I'm like, fuck that guy. I think like the focal yeah. point of the picture, like the point where your eyes first go to when you see him, is this weird like it's the wing, the bowl. Yeah, it's, no, it's the bottom bowl. It's dude. the wing. his body. There's he's a, got a fupa. Where his the fupa? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, what he's the got white. A the white. Fupa. It just it draws my eyeballs straight to the fupa. Fupa. I knew right, right, that, to, his right to it. And now that I've right said that, that's head. all you're going to see yeah. from now on. But are you, would you say that, like, in most pictures, you look at guys' crotches first? Danny, yes. To be fair. <laughs> no. Like, just to be fair. No. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But uh, maybe. I don't know. Because no. for me, I was. I, I, I was looked at the face the whole time. pictures of, like, gray sweatpants. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't do just that. Gotta stop doing that. What are you yeah. making this? Like Danny always <laughs> likes those photos of yours too. He does. He's I always, always the first, first one to one. like them. At yeah. two a.m. in the morning. You know, it's like do you have <laughs> notifications turned on for my Instagram or something. Yeah, he's always either the first or he's doing it at two a.m. I hope yeah, I'm not I, waking you up out of your sleep or anything. Yeah. Like fifteen. Well, those likes are the ones the I post at like one a.m. For sure. I do feel like that is the most like good strategy bro. Yeah, that for a logo that you're gonna if you're going the comedic route. There's like a lot of funny things you could do to that logo. It just. If oh, you didn't, sure. if you like a lot of happen. positions, yeah. yeah, a lot of things. If you didn't want your logo to be stomped on, you probably shouldn't have drawn it that way. That's, That's all I'm point. saying. So this brings me to, like, what other logos are the most stompable? Like, if you look up NFL logos, NFL the, or NBA, NFL, NBA uh, Celtics are the most stompable. I, I think for NBA. so you just mean like the aesthetic of the logo, or just like in general, what? you just don't just. just I want you to you look feel, up. I feel like you would have to have a hate for a team. I, I really don't. I just looked up logos and I just saw some. And do you want to? Do you guys want to give your NFL? Because I have a few, and they all follow a theme. I'm not a fan of the Browns logo, where it's just their helmet. It makes you want to stop it, though. I just I don't like the logo at all. So I mean, yeah, See, okay. logos. I they just stop. don't have. You a just logo, basically what he problem. said is, I when I'm playing like Madden. On a that's video game the, system, that's I'm not, not the gonna. Stadium I'm that. picking. It's yeah. not aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, that's that's. I, I get that. That's See, like for me, Ohio State when I played uh, uh, yeah. NCAA football games back in the day. It's just Born. there was nothing. Yeah, like a couple stickers because mm -hmm. they hit some people. Yeah. Like as a kid, yeah. I just didn't care. Right. I wanted like a, something like it was like a wild animal, yeah. something visceral, something exotic. Yeah. You know, something what I mean? that could something with some teeth. You know, anything that's got a little bit of bite to it. I think so, from a comedic standpoint, the funniest or jaguars. Panthers, Jaguars, <laughs> the uh, Eagle, I guess, but there's no teeth. No, th see the thing is, Falcons kind of have like a, yeah, a good no beef. teeth. No, no, yes, no, no, no. Seahawks, Cardinals, and Ravens—they're all fucking birds with wry smiles. They—they're these zoomed in. I just want to stomp the fuck out of these NFL. So items. you feel the same thing about the it's, Vikings logo then? No, not a bird, but it's still—they're it, all majority of the logos all. It's the, the smile direction. of the birds. It's this little like perception of the bird that it, it, like the falcons logo is just like a zoomed out bird it's got a sh it's got a fucking shitty look on its it's face. got a shit eating grin it does yeah mm. it's not smiling but it's grinning if you look up that if you look up uh ML arnold's logo does like fit kyler murray pretty damn well i think it's in the eyes if you look up that personally i think it's in the eyes if you look up mlb logos there is one there's an mlb logo that is begging Begging Don't to be say it. On. I want to see if I can guess which one it is. It, it, yeah. If you can get like, mm, I guess I gotta type in teams for this one. It's MLB team logos. It's there is one that stands out to me that automatically the from, Orioles, probably Blue Jays, definitely no, the, it's Orioles. the Orioles. The Orioles oh, yeah. fucking pisses me off. Yeah, it's just the picture yeah. of the mascot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his, it's his fake fucking face. Yeah, and you do. You're absolutely right. If you're on that field, you have to stomp on the Orioles logo. That's your job. It's your job. Yeah. Like, I hate that logo. See if you can fuck up the eyes a little bit, you know? 
Get some of that orange in there. Other than that, all of it, all of MLB is pretty much just the letters. Yeah. Uh, NHL logos a little bit harder to find. Star I'm points. not a super huge fan of the Ducks logo. Okay. I don't know if it's because of the way I grew up watching Mighty Ducks. I just like that logo yeah. better. Yeah, I exactly. Like Since they changed it, is, I like. Was the there purple. ever a tie between? Like, I don't like the orange and black scheme. I like the purple and the old. You like school. the old, yeah. The yeah old, when they yeah, changed they, it, was they the have problem. alternates and they wear them every once in a while. I think it looks great. Yeah. Was there ever but, a direct connection though between the Miami, or I mean the, the Mighty Ducks, cartoon and the hockey team? Like, were they together or not? They had. And then also, logos. same yeah, question, the, but the with the movie The Mighty America. Ducks, because I felt like. Because the Mighty Ducks, when I was a kid, I watched the movies and the cartoons that I liked the idea of the Mighty Ducks. When I found out there was a hockey team called the Mighty Ducks, and then I looked at them, I just didn't see. I didn't see that. That like I didn't see them representing those movies or cartoons. Or maybe that's just my memory of it. I gotta look it up. I guess for the, so there is a Ducks, team. right? Yeah. I don't know. And they were Mighty the, Ducks. Were they just no, ducks? no? But There's when ducks. the when the Ducks when the Mighty Ducks came out. They, they uniform, jumped on it. No, that uniform and that logo were the same as the uniform and the right. logo as the team in the league. So they were. It's was... been rebranded since, okay. and that's why it just looks like a different D now. Right. But at the time, yes, those were. So it's just like the same thing as when you're playing like Kiwit baseball. One team is the A's and one team is the Yankees and yeah, one team is. It's all, you know, it could have been. The... When you're a kid, you go off uniforms that already exist. Yeah, just just like, like they did. I when just I was feel kid, like you would have rode that, that nostalgia train. Yeah. To this were... day, I would still be rocking. You know what I mean? Everything comes back in, so right. it's like the Mighty Ducks. You know, there's going to be a new Mighty Ducks movie coming in the pipeline. Yeah. I, I'm going to Google it right now. I guarantee it you. actually just came out. Oh, it did. It I just did. It. It's on Disney Plus. There's like a TV show. <laughs> really? Okay, yeah, that's yeah. Right. so that's okay. But the TV show will mean Shorzy is in it, or not Shorzy? One of the the blonde. Of the two, what's his name? Jonesy. Jonesy's in it. Jonesy's in okay. it. Okay. But that's going to reignite interest, depending on how it does. And then mm-hmm. now you're going to see a movie come back, and then you're going to see Emilio Estevez make a uh, a resurgence. <laughs> for a, he's not, he's not he going to be in No, no, he's he not going to be in at the time, right? No, he was the coach. Oh, okay. He was the coach. He's not going to be no. in the movie. He's going to be like a passing thing. He's going to be a fan in the stands or something. Emilio Estevez was not the coach. No, he wasn't. No, he was a player. <laughs> no, Emilio Estevez was the coach of the Mighty Ducks. Don't try to. No, a hundred percent. The coach, yeah. the coach was the guy who got uh, Parkinson's. Jamie, no, you were so off. No, on this. dude, Jamie Fox was definitely one of the coaches in the movies. Emilio Estevez is the coach. He was a player when he was a kid, and then he got he missed oh, the one game. Of the new ones. No, the original Mighty Ducks. Emilio oh, you Estevez. Know what? He might be right, dude. No, I'm a hundred percent right. Don't he question right. me on this. He, yeah, he's right. he's right. Emilio Estevez is the coach in the first one and the second one, but in the third one. Is when they go to college. Oh my god! I thought and now was... they have a college coach. And remember, Charlie say? didn't like the new the coach because it wasn't Emilio Estevez. Gordon Bombay is the coach. Gordon Bomb Mother Truck and Bay. Gordon Bombay is the coach of the Mighty Ducks. Yes, he was the first original coach. Right? Played by he Emilio was the Estevez. One too. He was He's in the first by one. Emilio. He's Estevez. played by Emilio Estevez. He was in the He's first right. one and the second one. Oh, this guy is Emilio Estevez. Yes, that is Emilio. Is he like Spanish? That's a Knight of the Rocks. He's Charlie Sheen's brother. Their half brother. Yeah. Okay. Son of Martin Sheen. I'm gonna admit that. It I makes you wonder though. So why he did he change his name? He he didn't go with the Sheen name. Yes. He went. I don't know. What, it was. Uh, I think there was a divorce good, situation. Good decision in retrospect. Yeah. 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 But yeah. he still has the tiger blood, so he got like both sides of that. So he yeah. has HIV. Is what you're saying? I don't that's know. That's a pretty. That's a, that's a pretty big. HPV. Well, we found out the tiger blood was actually HIV. Chances are good. Right? <laughs> Chances are good. He has HPV. So <laughs> I used to run around saying I, I have tiger blood, and then it turns out tiger blood is actually like HIV. Yeah, you don't want. I've never. Seen Mighty Ducks, so you've never seen the Mighty Ducks. Mighty yeah, Ducks, really the game, think... ja- the game changer is the new one that uh, that Jonesy is in. Dude, it's definitely Michael J. Fox. I don't know why it said it was. Oh my god, are we having a Mandela effect right now? We're like in really? my universe, Emilio Estevez. No, because there's actually coach? there's actually links on here. Like, do they look like Michael J. Fox or Emilio Estevez? A look into my life. Is that's Click on that now. So this is a Mandela effect thing. Is Michael J. Fox in Mighty Ducks? He's in one, two, and three. No, he is not. Why would Michael J. Fox? What position? What? What? What role is Michael J. Fox in the Mighty Ducks? Michael J. Fox in the Mighty Ducks. This is hold up, dude. We're on the discovery. It's really he is. I hope this like this takes precedent over anything that we're talking about right now. He's absolutely in it. Michael J. Fox in the Mighty Ducks. He's not in it. 
He's I not. I looked up Mighty no Ducks way. cast, and it says Emilio Estevez. Yeah. He's not in it. We know. Yeah. What's the fucking theory behind all this? Like, there's got to be a conspiracy. Here. Well, no, you just made us think that there was a conspiracy. I didn't. I've never seen it, so I can't be a part of this, and I love that. I'm just. Where, I want to know where perimeter. you went to find Shared that roughly. you thought that Michael J. Fox. Right. Look. That's the Onion News Network. Before finally it's settling, Google. before finally setting on Emilio Estevez, other big names considered for the main role include Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks, and Michael J. Fox. So <laughs> there, so what know, is going dude. on? He was considered for the. This? So in the alternate universe, you guys remember. It was Michael J. Fox. Look at my ultimate. Oh, no, you were in the different. <laughs> my so he really does look like. Michael oh, they J. Fox. look. They look. They just exactly look a lot. Alike. Yeah. Right. They look a lot alike. That's the so, thing. It's confusing. I thought it. Was I hope him. whoever listened to this, they, they, they like. I, I think we just like. I bet there was like five minutes there if they had just smoked or something yeah. that they joined us in this moment of like. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, but there's some people are screaming at the podcast right now, like. You fucking idiots. Like, from the start of this conversation. Not me, though. Like, I never Emilio once Estevez. thought Michael J. Fox was You're in. Right. Not in my universe. universe. I said Emilio Estevez because I'm looking at facts and I can't remember shit because I've never seen the movie. Which is strange because I, like, I feel like we need to do a viewing party and make him watch Mighty Ducks. At least Sit him down, one. tie him to the bar, and make him Dude, watch. Dude, what were the, the Bash Brothers? The Bash Brothers, too. The Knuckle Puck? I'm sure it aged well. Hit him Goldberg. Goldberg. I think it probably did age well, actually. I mean, the fact that there's a character named... You know what's funny? In the third one, um, there's a part where the guy, the Charlie, he's, he's in college now, and he's talking to this girl, and she's like, what are you listening to? Or he's like, what are you listening to? She's like, Pantera. And as a kid, I was a kid at the time that movie came out, so I was like, I didn't get that, but I'm looking back, I'm like, damn, that chick was pretty yeah. freaking, pretty brutal. Man. She was cool. Yeah, she was cool. She was the cool girl that, you know... She's rocking out the Pantera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's that girl that changes everything in college. Man, you were still a kid then. That came out a long time ago. Yeah, I know. I like the way you like try to make me feel so super old. You just, just saying, saying, like, it's helping. a really long you time. Know. You know. <laughs> mm. Did you have any other logos that you had issues with? Uh, just NHL. I guess the Penguins logo I didn't love, and it kind of made me want to stomp them. What's the reason? Is it like a smug bird. penguin? Another bird. Another yeah, bird. Yeah, because I just don't like birds. Right now, yeah. Just doesn't like birds. You just move on. So do you like the Creepy Blue Jays logo? or? Yeah, it doesn't have a rice mouth. Blue Jays logo is like frowning. Yeah. I really enjoy the Miami Dolphins logo. Though, the with the helmet. With the helmet. It's just, it's funny. It's cute. <laughs> it's, it's cute. It's adorable. <laughs> you know what logo I'd like to see or that they would wish to see that would be in the NBA? What? Harlem Globetrotters. Did oh, you hear yeah. that they were trying to go to the NBA? That's hilarious. Yeah, like, it's a real team? Like, no, yeah. yeah. Like, the Hirschland Family Entertainment is the company that owns the Harlem Globetrotters. And they're saying that they have enough play that, where they could just be put in I am so game. for it. They want to start I will watch basketball talent too. if that happens. I mean, if you're... I was about to say, if you remember right, but the Globetrotters started off back in the 40s, and they actually played against the Lakers two times and won both times. Oh, yeah. The Lakers were being creative as well. So technically, <laughs> they did help start the NBA. Yeah, when the Lakers, and they were, were also in, on Scooby Doo. Probably when the Lakers right. were in Minnesota, as well as on a lot of other yeah. TV shows. True. This was back when there were. I think two if they can get enough leagues. press behind it, I mean, obviously, there's not going to be an expansion draft or anything. I don't think that would have to happen. Uh, an expansion draft could happen when uh, Seattle gets a team. There is talk of mm -hmm. Seattle getting a team, so they would maybe want to add one to the East, Harlem. Could happen. Omaha. Hold on. Omaha. Could, could, is it possible? I've always wondered this. Is it possible for a Harlem's Globetrotter team to play to beat an NBA team? No. 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 Not right now. Not like, right now. They'd they, they, they have, they have to tone down. It, no, but they'd all have to tone down the tricks, yeah. though. Because you still they well, would yeah. still have to keep they the tricks. Have to. You have, have to keep to the tone it too. down. You'd have to. But Danny, Danny, <laughs> Danny, let me just put it this way. Too many double dribbles. NBA players get paid a lot more than Harlem Globetrotters, so if they could make it in the NBA, don't you think they would have? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think they got out of? They're got, saying they got out of college maybe, and were like, "Nah, yeah. I want to play for the Harlem Globetrotters." I thought maybe it'd be like like <clears throat> basketball is like art, man. Yeah. Like those guys, you know, they're, they're really good, but they just choose not to give into the corporate and become you know like the Chinese overlords as we discussed last time. Maybe there, there's yeah. one. <laughs> what maybe, yeah. maybe one of the guys there mm -hmm. is that way, you know, and he just wants to fuck Harlem bitches, and, and he just wants he just like he just I just want to do tricks and then listen to cool music in my dorm room, even though I'm like 35. You know what I mean? Like, I'd buy it. I'd buy yeah. it. You know, sure, one of them, but one. not the whole team. 
You got about 10 players left over there that they just weren't cut out. You know, they probably wanted to play in the NBA. Speaking of new teams and, like, uh, new coaches, um, I mean, there's seven, like, coaching vacancies are rampant in the NBA right now. A lot of interviews going on. So we just, uh, Adam and I were thinking we'd interview you two as potential NBA coaches. Oh, God. (laughs) Would you be interested? (coughs) No. No? Do you want to do an interview? I'll do an interview. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just just come in for the job. We'll see if you're right for it. If you, you might get a promotion. I'm blow it on purpose. You, you might know, get a promotion. You can go first, Danny. No, you go or first. Or is it the same time? <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm Peters, just gonna we'll I'm gonna go propose first. one to you, All right, Brandon. Let's propose. Um, and actually, I think that I'm gonna propose this to both of you. So, Danny, please pay attention too. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, I I'm, I'm gonna have Brandon go first this time, and then Danny, you can take the next question first. Okay. okay. So we'll go back and forth, kind of mm-hmm. like a snake draft with two people. Yes. Okay, so it's going around that one of your players is spending too much time at strip clubs. How do you address this issue? 45 seconds on the clock goes to Brandon. Does he have enough ones? Plenty of ones. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. like what Mid-season, he's times? already received like is he burning four away or five all, paychecks. Is he burning away all of his paychecks? Because that might be an issue. It's a time issue is, mm-hmm. is the qualifier. Oh, not enough practice time. <laughs> yes, okay. exactly. I think we get it slowed down to like you know an hour a night. Okay. Every night. Uh, if he's going every night, it needs to be moved down because he's not just going in for an hour. To about an hour. Right. Okay. Eight to nine. He's not going to get the prime time slots with the ladies. I'm sorry. It's not And happening. does your decision you change get. Does your decision change uh, based on importance to your success? So if oh, he's like absolutely. an all-star? If we're making a playoff run, he's done. You're not going to the club. Like You need fucking Ooh. rest and practice. My dude. question, though, sorry. if he's like top of the Make roster or bottom of the roster, does that make a difference? Like... If Absolutely. his happiness is really like important, if he's to you, at top of the roster pushing out max stats, stay there. I could care less. You're just doing keep your it job. Club. Okay. If you're doing your job, I don't care what you do in your I like that. Time. A layered practice. question and a layered answer. I I, I, I appreciate that. Right. Thank you, Brandon. You got to take more things into consideration. Sure, sure. So I'm going to give you a a, a, a seven point nine out of ten you like that for that answer. Right. I like it. It's not bad. I give you seven point nine. Which would be like Those a seventy nine. Two different scales, yes. but it'd yeah, be like sure. a seventy nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Danny, same question. No, it'd be like an eighty nine, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yours would be an eight point nine. It'd Mine's be like an eighty seven. So why don't you use the same sketch or you know like metric mm. that I'm using? I like using the grading scale. Danny, same question. Fucking asshole. Well, what I would do is I would sit McDonga Dong because I'm sure this is McDonga. What's his name? Madonna, Madonna, just... It's Kent Murphy, but yes. Oh, Kent Murphy. I never <laughs> Who know. are you talking about? Madonna, 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 Booties bouncing everywhere. I, I just, why was I not invited? Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. And I think if you had invited me, Badong Badong Vidich, yes, we could have teamed up and we could have really done some damage mm-hmm. together. Because, I mean, that's what we do on the on the court, and we do it in the club. Yes. And now, and then now, I find you five thousand single dollar bills. Oh, you're finding him because single next dollar time, bills so he can use them. Coaches right don't have the power to do that in the end. Eh, NBA they kind of if, if they work it out with their team, they could. Okay, it's, it's out of the table type situation. Oh, you're just and then next money time, next time he will invite me. Yes, and Sounds we. Like black. Well, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's... You're going to give me 5,000 ones. What's he going to do? Tell on me? Or no, you're not. You know? Here's, gotta, and then, but no, but then we're going to go to the club, like, and we're going to do some damage mm-hmm. together, and yeah. then we're going to call, it, we're going to be the Bash Brothers. Yeah, I like but it. But of the strip club. But... And then, I'll give the ladies the old knuckle puck, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, we the next day, after, after you know, we good breakfast, a little hangover wears off. You're over time, but go on. We hit to the court, <laughs> and we dominate. Together as a team, and if we lose, we lost. But hey, we had a good night. And now the media, my next question, now the media has captured you two exiting the club together. They have pictures of you in the club together. Uh, You guys have lost the next game. How do you respond? 
we had a good night. Okay. Okay. That's such a Bill Belichick answer. All right. So next, now the next yeah, question, not a Bill Belichick move. No. Uh, now the next well. question I got for you, <laughs> we'll start out with Danny and then segue to Peters. Danny, what would be your offensive philosophy for the team? Um, play hard, fuck hard, go hard all the time. Okay. Just stay hard from day one. Okay. Just constantly Unofficial, just stay official hard. Official model. Stay hard. Yeah, stay hard. Stay That's hard. hard. Stay hard. Okay. Brandon. Wait, we didn't rate. Are we we didn't like rank a motto him. or a slogan? Is that what the question was? Hold on. Before we go into this, can we rank his first answer? It's more of a mentality. Yes. Stay hard. Uh, so, so to double back to your first answer for the first question, D yes. plus. I was gonna say I'm giving you like a six two for your response yeah. out of like seven feet tall. Oh, out of ten. <laughs> out of 10. Six six point two out of ten. Oh. Okay. For your first answer, C yeah. C minus on the grading scale for me. Because what we're doing is at that point we're. We're rewarding a lack of commitment to the game. Mm-hmm. No, but we find them five thousand dollars in singles, so that's not rewarding. That's okay. That's just so really he that just means it doesn't go to the NBA though. It goes to me. Yeah, right. just it creating strife right. within the locker room though. So you're just making him pay for your strip club outing. Yeah. Well, together, together. All right. So yeah, six two is where we're going on that one. I, I like. Uh, that. Second question: um, How you deal with it? I actually am giving that one. Uh, I'm gonna say seven even, because I'll give it a while, seven, three. yeah, while he's defending something that you put yourself in a bad position. I would have gave it a coach, ten out of ten. I know you would have. Inches. Yeah, because that's <laughs> as hard as it gets, I'm sure. And stay hard, uh, Brandon. Um, your second question. Same same question. If you happen to to find yourself in that situation, a situation with your pants down, um, so to speak, uh, with bog bog da bog bog da bog. Uh, at the strip club, um, what what do you do? I tell it how it is. He's been playing great ever since this uh, ordeal has been going on. We just had a bad night, a late night, and uh, we'll move on from here. I feel like you got to leave it open. You got to yeah, leave it broad, especially yeah. with press. You don't want them to like <clears throat> take one thing and spin it another way. Absolutely, give it a triple on. I think this is a will. situation <laughs> that's impossible. We're like we're gonna pass on both banging, of them as coaches, yeah. but we're gonna hire Brandon in the front office somewhere. Brandon could make a front office like, in like the Hornets Association. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. find a spot for him. Yeah, he's, um, he's gonna go somewhere. Danny, we appreciated your. Do we have any more questions? Stay okay. hard. Um, hmm, let's see. Here's another question for you. Um, uh, you find out that a player on your team is. Fucking your daughter. Yes. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna put it out there. Okay. And not only is he fucking Stop your right daughter, first. okay, but he cheats on your daughter. Ooh, Paul George. Mm. Um, so if, if that happens, uh how do you handle that situation? Now he's he's like he may not be we'll say for the sake of for the sake of a little uh you know discrepancy between the two questions, he's not the number one man on your squad, but he's like the second man on your squad. And let's say the number one man on your squad gets injured a little bit. So he's like injury so prone. Yeah. So you need him, but <laughs> he's like one B, but he's cheating <coughs> on your daughter. Yes. Um, I guess Brandon gets to start this one off again. Uh, Brandon, how do you handle that situation? How useful is he to the team? I just said he's the second most important player on your team. And um, the first player gets injured. First man, often. first man's injury prone, so you need him. <sighs> Boy, that's a toughie. Work is work, family is family. You Boom. gotta keep them separate. Now, if ah. you could hold yourself to that, I gotta say. Um, oh, I didn't. I didn't say the locker rooms weren't gonna get messy. Yeah. Okay. And, and is he maybe on the court? It's business. And yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna handle that in a personal family matter, not in. You gotta keep them separated. Court. Yeah. I like it. Very good. Um, okay. Uh, if he can stick to that, I'm giving it uh, seven seven. I'm giving that like an eight five. Eight five is really, really, really generous. Yeah, yeah, that's good. But your aggregate score is going up. So I love it. Yeah, I think you're right I'm around here an eight for at this it. point. You know, so we're not exploring. Danny, uh, same question. Fucking your daughter, second best player on the team. First player gets injured. I have a question. Okay. Yes. It's an important one. Okay. <clears throat> is it PJ Tucker? No. <laughs> no, it's not. Then I kick him off the team. Is it Chris Middleton? Second most important player on your team, you kick him off for cheating on your daughter. Yes. 
You're taking it personally. You're taking it to the Because the, the media? Because it's a big deal. They'll be behind me on this situation. Okay. And therefore, my stock on a personal so level PC. will only grow. All right. I think, uh, Joshua, did you have a, a comment? I, I just want to say, Danny, thank you for coming in and talking to us for this position. We'll yes. get back to you. We thank you. Uh -huh. When can I bring my stuff in? Uh, we'll get back well, to you. Let's just I, would say, I have a band. We've got a lot of, of like other like options we got to go through. Just pump like the brakes. We have a lot of more staplers. interviews today. Uh -huh. I have my own yeah. facts. We got about a month. I need of to figure out how to wire it. I would say your... expect our answer in like a month or two. Yeah, we're recording this interview. We have to consult with a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. It's not just us making this decision. So we appreciate your You're not gonna go with that other guy, are you? We appreciate Wait, your second. excitement, but we just need we just need a little more time. Brand I stay hard. Brandon, uh, I just like to say right now our GM position is filled. We're looking in like a year or two to get rid of him. So if you would just like come in, work He's underneath of him. You know, the sexual like harassment cases out are piling up. Okay. We need yeah, to we need to replace him. We need to be ready for that contingency when you know you might get me too. Or Wait, who is in this, this case? Me too. Who, is the, <laughs> who is the GM? <laughs> Just a theoretical GM. Hypothetical. Yeah. Okay. Am I the GM? The GM. Well, no. No. no I'm not no, the GM. No. You're you, never you, on the staff. You don't have a job. <laughs> you didn't get close. You yeah. did not and you're not hits. gonna have one. Wait, I'm not getting paid. No. Wait, no, no, no. I know we're not talking about the hypothetical interview. We're talking about the real job now, right? I'm getting paid for this, right? Yeah. When we get money, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Whenever money happens, man, you can have some money. Yeah. All right. Well, I think, I honestly think that, and I'm not sad about it because I, I, I'm really proud of what we've put out today. I think that that's all the time we have for yep. today. Mm -hmm. um, just real quick, I got just Josh's final notes. Okay, Josh thoughts. Uh, Clippers beat Suns. Adam, would you join me? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, no, uh, Clippers, my bad. Clippers beat Jazz. Clippers beat Jazz. Cool. That would have been a really cool moment had you not fucked it up. Fucked it. Yeah. Fucked it up. Clippers beat Jazz. Clippers Adam, beat jazz. would you join me? Nah, 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 nah. nah. Na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye Rudy Gobert and Fuck your bitch off all ass. You jazz fans. We're not gonna bother the bitch. We're not gonna bother the bitch. Na 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 na, we're not gonna bitch. Sorry, Spidey. Next year. Also, I got a real quick uh, segment called Antoine's Mystic Thoughts. Which Antoine is a guy that works with me, and last year, <laughs> immediately after Kobe died, he said Lakers are winning the chip this year, a hundred percent. They did, and also this year he's he said Kobe is now possessing Devin Booker, and the Suns will. Win which he cousin. is. Which he might. I, I don't know. So it's just like this guy Antoine seems to have a at my work. I just wanted to throw that in. Devin. Uh, he also says Suns will win in six specifically. All right. Of the finals. Adams Mystic thoughts. Antoine is a Kobe Dick writer. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay hard. Good night.